Well, good morning. Monday morning, 7.03 a.m., June 13th, 2022, on the East Coast of the United States. So this morning, um, I have something, well, it's interesting to me. I hope it's interesting to you. I have a word for you, lagrima, lagrima. And this word means tear or tears, you know, these kind of tears. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. First, let's go look at the map, okay? Because the coffee that we're going to have comes from... Okay, here's South America. So it comes from Colombian Arabica. Okay, there's Colombia in South America. And... It also has Robusta beans. Here's Africa. And let's see, here's Uganda. The Robusta is from Uganda. Okay, wow. I've forgotten my geography from when I was in fourth grade. And uh, I had to look around and find where is it in Africa. So it's by the Congo and Kenya. Tanzania, Ethiopia. Of course, when I was a kid, this was Tanganyika. Well, anyway, we won't get into a geography lesson. But, all right. Now, the coffee we're going to have this morning is uh, supposed to be reminiscent of Argentina. And it is called Buenos Aires. Okay? That's the type of coffee. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a recipe that is very popular in Buenos Aires, and that's called lagrima, okay? Now, you know how I always talk about I like coffee that has a lot of milk in it. I was reading some coffee recipes last night, and here I come to find out that I'm not crazy. It's not just me. In South America, they make a coffee that's just like what I like. Now, I have got 200 milliliters of nice cold almond milk in here, but um, I'm going to pop it in the microwave. I could have put it in my coffee frother because it has a setting to just heat the milk. I don't want something extra to wash. So... Uh, 200 milliliters is almost seven ounces of milk, okay? And I am going to brew into this warm milk some Buenos Aires espresso. Now, this is actually, it's made to be extracted as a lungo. I usually like those lungos better as espressos. So I'm going to put this in as an espresso, okay? Okay, and, um, okay, it's almost ready here. So, the way that the Argentinians make this coffee is usually, like, if they had, oh, 200 milliliters of warm milk, they would only put in maybe 20 milliliters of espresso, maybe even less. Oh, I hope I haven't heated this milk too much. See the steam coming off of it? All right, need a spoon here. There we go. Just give it a stir up. Whenever you microwave anything, stir it up because you can end up with hot pockets in there and you may taste it and you go, oh, that tastes cool. All of a sudden you get a superheated little pocket of whatever it is, food or milk, because the microwave heats things unevenly. Well, it's not so much it heats it, well, it does heat it unevenly, but you know, especially in food or even in some kind of drinks, different parts of whatever you're heating up um, 
get uh, absorb or are excited by those microwaves. So you can end up with, say, something uh, in food that maybe has more liquid in it than another part. The part with the liquid will get much hotter. Oh, okay, this is not a science lesson or a cooking lesson. Okay, this is actually, even though you can see the steam coming off of it, it's just right. Oh, it's, you know, almond milk heated up is very nice. Okay, so oh, uh, what I'm going to do, okay, how many milliliters is an espresso? I, know, I just forget these things sometimes. I mean, I, I think it's because I read so much information Okay, an espresso is 40 milliliters, 1.35 ounces. And I've got 200 milliliters of milk in here. So actually, to really be a lagrima coffee, um, I should have more milk, but I'll do it this way. And the reason I'm gonna do it this way is a lot of people are gonna look at this, they're gonna go, look at how much milk she's got there. That's, oh my gosh, you know, this is way too much. No, actually, I like it this way. So let's go ahead and extract this. Now, if we were in Argentina, we would be getting much more milk and much less espresso. And that's why it's called lacrima. It means tears. It's almost like, you know, there's just a tear or a few tears of espresso or coffee in our milk. Okay, so let me give this a mix up. I'm looking forward to this. You know, one of the things I love about brewing the coffee into the milk is the crema of that coffee or espresso. I always say coffee, but you know, it's espresso that I'm always making here in my pixie machine. Um, the crema and the milk just make a, a sort of richer, here, look at this, let me show you this. See, doesn't that look just really nice? It looks inviting and creamy. And it just kind of tastes creamier than if I were to make the espresso, then pour the milk on it. Yeah, it makes a difference. Actually, it's called Cafe Reverso. And it's a thing. There are other recipes too where it makes a difference if you put the milk in on top of the coffee or the coffee in on top of the milk. <clears throat> okay, I need to wet my whistle here. Okay, why well, I'm always slurping on this spoon. No, it's actually not to taste it. It's because if I put that wet spoon down on the napkin or paper towel, it's gonna start dissolving from all the liquid and make a big mess. So <laughs> it's easier if I put a licked spoon down on there. Okay, anyway, here goes. Oh, and see what's so wonderful is you've got the flavor of the milk. You should use the milk that you like. And I like almond milk, but you've got that coffee coming through. And I don't, it's just very comforting to me. Now, maybe it's because when I was a little, little kid, my one of my grandmothers used to make me coffee when I'd go visit her, which was a nice big, that was in the days that people used cups and saucers and she'd fill that cup with warm milk and put in a few drops of coffee. <laughs> and to me, that was coffee. Maybe that's what gave me my taste for this. Mm. But I do like creamy things that have a subtle flavor. And this has a subtle flavor of coffee. It's not a weak flavor, it's subtle. Mmm, it's so good. Golly, was there anything else I wanted to say? Because I've said a lot more on a lot of topics I never even planned on. Hmm, all right. It's the beginning of a new week. 
make it a good one. In as much as it's up to you and the decisions that you can make to influence your week, make good ones.